Welcome back. This is Fizz, and since the new Mountain Blade has come out, I have decided that we are going to attempt to take a city. Because I'm probably going to be switching my Let's Play over to the new Mountain Blade, and I don't know if this one's going to have much of a shelf life after that. So, we were up here in River Chag when we left off. I just leveled my characters. I gave a cross. I gave the uh, the gun to Rolf, the gun that I had not assigned in the last one, and uh, started coming down here. Now, as you can see, the Nords are beating the shit out of the Squadians. So hopefully the Squadian army is uh, in dire straits and can't send too many men to intercept me while I'm laying seas to Craig. Uh, once I have it, it should give me three cities, or three towns, plus the city of Craven. I will give one town to three different followers, so we will have a, uh, a little army. And they'll go around, they'll recruit their own guys, and uh, I can act as the marshal, call them all together, and then we can assault different parts of the Swadian Empire. I want to avoid making more with more people than just the Swadians, but it may not be possible since I'm just a mercenary archer. Most of the kings are going to be like, oh, that up jump bastard thinks he's going to be a king. And, and uh, I have to essentially fight for the right to rule, to be recognized as a peer of the nobles of the realm. <coughs> Which is not too hard, as long as you whoop the shit out of everybody that comes against you. Um, but, fail or not, we are going to do what we can. Uh, first, we're going to the marketplace and buy goods from the city that I plan on assaulting. Do not want to run out of food during a siege. And we'll get some meat just to uh, improve the morale. I don't know how many Swadians I have. Get some cabbage too. Because uh, once I go to war with them, they're, they're not going to like me very much. Bombers. Did I catch them? Yes. Don't normally attack farmers, but... Uh, I am in this case just to hurry up and get it over with so that I can uh, lay siege on the city. I'm going to be kind of careful. I don't want to lose anybody to these farmers. It would just be really bad preparation for this, uh, this assault. Fraps is doing that thing and does want to hit backspace again. Uh, yeah, maybe my uh, infantry will get here around the same time as they press that ridge right there. So I'm gonna we get this battle over with as quickly as possible, and then start on the real battle. I may uh, cut videos in between, just so I don't run the risk of going over time in the middle of a big siege battle. <clears throat> Since we're at an elevated position, I'll do is I'll walk down here and I'll tell my infantry to stand in front of my archers. Even though they're directly in front of me, I can shoot over them since I have this elevation right here. It's not a big hassle. Yes, I am an asshole killing present. But you know it's happened sometimes. Alright, that was over. Uh party capacity. 
Oh, that sucks. I really should have a prisoner. Prisoners after it's my town because the merchant will be among the first to recognize me as the sovereign lord. I think he has much of a choice with my sword at his throat, but you know. This is an interesting castle. Too, with the uh, the guns that are in the game, it can really lose a lot of your army just walking up to a castle and actually shooting down at you. Good job, what about Frostbite? Hell of a shot. <clears throat> I do like the little wall they included right here. It's very nice. Normally I would sit out here and I would try to snipe, but uh, in this mod I can't really snipe very well since my, my accuracy is nerfed on my bow. top of my head. Quickly,
All right. I the city's ours. We might have a few more attacks to do. Ah, oh, we only lost seven guys. Much better than I thought it was going to. So, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you next episode.